One pastor calls for action in the fight for the right to worship. It's time for every pastor, every rabbi, every Muslim leader, every religious leader to exercise their First Amendment rights. Come on, let the lion inside you begin to roar and take your people back into the houses of worship. All right, his message comes as congregations across the country face gathering restrictions, even as other businesses begin to reopen. So here to discuss his position to peaceably gather this Sunday is his church pastor, Brian Gibson. Pastor, thanks for joining us. What is your message for this weekend? What is your message to governors in the states where you have churches, and what are you doing this weekend? Well, my message to the governors, uh, not only in our states, but all across America, is that church is essential and that we have a First Amendment right to peaceably gather. As a matter of fact, we're calling pastors to peaceablygather.com to join with us, to stand up for our religious liberties. And we're really just saying uh, and asking this question. Uh, we were all willing to go online. We were all willing to, while be good neighbors, be caring and compassionate whenever this outbreak first started. But as it wasn't 5%, 4%, 1% less, we saw other businesses open up around the country and we saw the church be restricted and being called non-essential while we're one of the entities that has the first mention in the First Amendment. So our our message to everyone is pastors, get your church, churches going, religious leaders, let's step up and roar. And why could the Starbucks be open, the McDonald's be open? Uh, I had an event that was shut mm. down by the health department at my church, but everybody else is open and the church has to close. Mm. Why yeah. is that reasonable? Why is it logical? Makes sense. Uh, here's uh, a number of states, 11 of them, suing to reopen, suing their own states, including yours of Kentucky. Uh, there's the map right there. Uh, your guidelines there in Kentucky for this Sunday as you uh, open up, uh, you're trying to do it responsibly. Uh, you want to reduce occupancy to match the local guidelines, practice social distancing by spacing families six feet apart, uh, dismiss attendees aisle by aisle so they don't get too close in the rush out, uh, all staff wearing masks and gloves, increasing sanitation efforts. And you're saying that if Walmart can be open uh, and I can do this responsibly, there's no reason why you shouldn't be allowed to do this, right? Yes, uh, we want to be responsible. We want to be caring. We want to follow all the same guidelines. But when Walmart has hundreds of people in it, Kroger has tons of people in it. Mm -hmm. uh, when did one hour on Sunday morning become the deadliest hour in America? That all functions seven days a week. We're talking about one hour a week, and we're talking about our First Amendment rights. So let's take a look at Kentucky's in-service church guidelines that are set to start May 20th, just a few days after you want to do this. Um, services should limit attendance to 33% capacity, ensure staff and congregants wear face coverings, avoid congregational or choir singing, and consider taking temperatures, providing hand sanitizer, things like that. I guess the question is, it's a difference of a few days here. Why do you feel, you know, like this is something that you need to do and you're calling on others to do on Sunday? Well, we launched on that day uh, because it was before the governor allowed us. Uh, we felt like they'd already severely overstepped their bounds and yeah. had come against our constitutional liberties. So we said we're going to go before it because I'm not going to call guys to uh, put their life or, or to put their neck on the line. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, through publicity, if I'm not willing to stand with them. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'll open my church up then. I'd already distributed communion on the parking lot when they told me I couldn't safely sanitary uh, because I think somebody has to stand up and act now. Every day that the church isn't open, a bit of liberty dies. So mm -hmm. I'm encouraging every pastor, sure. come with us. Let's open the church. Our people need us and people need that communion and that uh, connectivity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, good luck to you, sir. Thank you so much for your time Thank and you. telling us your story, Pastor. Hey, we'll God right bless back. you. All right.